excited. I'm kind of excited. I have read many books that cover all the special holidays and events of December that we celebrate. But for the very first time, I am reading about Kwanzaa. And appropriately enough, the book is called My First Kwanzaa. Oh, Kwanzaa, I absolutely love it. You do, Olivia the Ostrich? Oh yes, seven fabulous nights celebrating family, friends, culture, and community. Olivia, I'm a little bit perplexed. You are from England. Yes, yes, London. And how is it that you know about Kwanzaa? Because that's an American holiday specifically for African Americans. Oh, a storyteller. When you are an artist, as I am, and you travel the world, and you meet the most fascinating people, you know a little bit about everything. Oh. The power of traveling. This is true. So I'm excited to learn all about the seven principles. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself because if this is also your first Kwanzaa, we're going to learn about it together, shall we? My first Kwanzaa. Oh, it's just what, what, what she said. Olivia told us it's celebrating family and friends and community. She really did know all about it. Hooray, hooray, it's time to get ready for Kwanzaa. First, we get the Kinara. What's a Kinara, you ask? This right here, that candle holder, Kinara. It's made of shiny wood. I put in seven candles, but not just any candles. Mm -mm. It must be three red, one black, and three green. And we light a candle every night to celebrate a special idea. Oh, these are the seven principles I told you about, Storyteller. Yes, I cannot wait to find out more about them. They are fabulous, spiritual, and in Swahili. Do you also speak Swahili? Oh, just a bit, you know, a little here, a little there. My world travels, you know. I've become a bit multilingual. <laughs> she gets more and more fascinating the more I hear about her life. Mommy brings the kikombe, the unity cup. I like it, the sound of that. For each child, we place one ear of corn called muhindi on a straw mat. And my brother places yams, nuts, squash, the fruits and vegetables, mazao, remind us of the end of the harvest. Are there any pickles? Um. I don't see any. Oh, so can I still do Kwanzaa? Yes, Dill, you can still do Kwanzaa. Yay! They should really add pickles. I'll, I'll put in your recommendation. Ah, uh, so uh, this reminds us of the end of the harvest and the beginning of the planting season. Just like in Africa. And why is the planting season such a big deal? Planting season, food, life, health, for everybody, for the young, for the old, for the in-between. That's right. The planting season is food, and food is life. So, time to begin with the seven principles, starting with number one, umoja, unity. On the first day of Kwanzaa, neighbors come to visit. We ask, habari gani? That means, what's the news? I like the sound of that, habari gani? It's like saying, shop. What's going on? How's it hanging? What, what are you doing? What's going on? Yes, it's a way of saying that, but how do we say it again? Habari gani? I like that, I'm gonna use that. Okay, Green Bear. Uh, we laugh, we talk, we sing, we get the news. We are friends and family. And look at that, there's some drumming, there's some strumming, there's some musicality going on. Principle number two. Kuji cha gulia. Kuji Kuji cha gulia. See, I'm, I love that it's pronounced for us because uh, I don't speak Swahili. And for those of us who do not speak Swahili, might be you. That way we can learn how to say these words. Kuji cha gulia, self-determination. On the second day of Kwanzaa, I asked mommy to braid my hair in a fancy African way. It makes me feel proud. Ah yes, good hair makes you feel really good. Number three, Ujima, working together. On the third day of Kwanzaa, in the lot next door, we all work together to make our neighborhood pretty. So you have to plant a garden? No, 
no, you don't have to plant a garden, but this is an example, Dill, of working together. Oh, I get it. Maybe you should plant a pickle garden. I don't think that's a, that's not a thing. Principle number four, ujamaa, helping our neighborhood grow. How do we do that? On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we buy special food for our celebration. We like to shop in our neighborhood stores to keep our businesses strong. Number five, Nia, purpose. On the fifth day of Kwanzaa, I dream of what I can be. Someday, I will be an African dancer, just like my Aunt Tasha. And that's looking pretty good already. She's already got the moves down. Now our next principle, number six, kuumba, creativity. I think this might be my favorite one. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, my cousin and I paint a clay pot and weave some baskets. We will make our house beautiful. So even if you don't have a pot to paint or baskets to weave all the material, you could still find something that expresses your creativity. Principle number seven, Imani, faith. On the seventh day of Kwanzaa, we light the last candle to show our faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. Grandma, there's a grandma, gives us zawadi. Those are gifts for promises we have kept all year. A handmade doll for me, and an African shaker gourd for my brother. A gourd is like a vegetable and you hollow it out and you put stuff in it and it makes it a shaky sound. Now, on the off chance that you don't have that, but you wanna make one to celebrate, Storyteller has a hot tip. See this? These are Easter eggs. Somebody gave this to me, Easter eggs, and then you just put rice in there, put them, you shut them, glue them together, you got a shaker. And if you want it to look more like this pretty one with all those colors, you can just get them in different colors or paint them. So you can get crafty and creative like one of the seven principles. At last, it is time for the feast. Yes, this is my favorite one. That's right, because Green Bear loves a good feast. And this is how we end the grand finale. We call it Karamu. Friends come over and everyone cooks delicious African food. The house smells so good like it does when we're doing some delicious home cooking. Spicy chicken, sweet yams. We all take a sip from the Unity Cup and share our wonderful meal. Look at that, the friends, the family, all together sharing and caring. Then we sing, we dance, we play music, we celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa! And look at that. A good time is being had by all. You know, hard to believe, because I'm hearing about Kwanzaa more and more. You keep hearing about it too, but it's only been around since 1966, which is pretty new when we talk about all the things that we celebrate in December. But this has become such a big event that they celebrate it not only here in the United States, but we're starting to see people celebrating Kwanzaa in Canada, in the Caribbean, and in parts all over the world. I mean, that makes perfect sense. What's not to love about a celebration of family and wonderful principles like unity and creativity? Ah, uh, I agree, Olivia. These are all wonderful principles to be celebrating. Oh, yes. So you know, you will find me December 26th celebrating Kwanzaa at my friend's house, should you be looking for me. Ciao. Oh, okay. Well, kid, I hope you have a happy Kwanzaa and I hope that you like the seven principles because hey, those seven principles, those are good. Yep, not just the seven days of Kwanzaa. Those are great principles year round. Happy Kwanzaa, kid.